yo what's up guys and i'd like to thank everyone for supporting us guys we just hit 850 subscribers so before we can start the video thank you so much for the support guys and please do remember to subscribe to the channel to enjoy our content guys also give a like and leave those comments below guys and thank you so much for helping us reach 850 subscribers guys and let's start with the video yeah this could be us so back to what i was saying <laughs> Yeah, well, guys, the bus is leaving now on the bus, guys. So, China and his mother. Yeah. So, I started our tour, guys, and we said you're going to what? Uh, guys, we are starting our tour, guys. Uh, the trips max down, we're starting the like wine lands, guys, yeah. <laughs> then after that, Hot Bay and Ken's Day. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Mm. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. A lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right back Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answered a no Man, I still go Go, 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 go Some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past all the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, And even when you feel low Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Look at the wines, wine trees, guys. And today, I think it's a good time we're flying around here, but we'll do it a bit later, guys. We just arrived now. I want to do the wine tasting, then before we go away, we will eventually fly the drone today. And we're just taking a, a round trip because Shadow's car is a bit blocked here. So, we're just taking a small round trip. But look how beautiful it is, guys. This is Constantia, guys. Hood Constantia. Uh, it's a wine area where they make wine. It's a red wine, white wine, about this red wine and everything. So we will see how many wines we're going to eat. And let's enjoy our day, guys. Let's enjoy our day. Woohoo! Yeah. Ah, so beautiful guys and the sightseeing on the bus the views were awesome guys like this trip is worth worth it without even even getting to taste wine but 
So China, we're gonna test one, they were very yeah, plan to test one. But it's worth it without testing anyone, so I'll give it a go guys. Number one trip ever. This is the bus sighting guys, it's very good. Yeah. We can use it uh, to just go to botanic gardens, uh, go to Cairns Bay, go to House Bay. So we're experiencing all of it. And right now, uh, I'm going to take a break and wait for this guy here. Yay! Hey, look at the beautiful girl. Yay! She's dancing. <laughs> yeah, guys, you haven't seen my face today. Oh, you did see it, but we just arrived here. It's a bit a bit hot today. Very good weather, good weather. Indeed, good weather in Cape Town. Look how shiny it is behind me. So let's go and check out these wine testing and tours and stuff and see what you can do. We're just walking without anyone guiding us. We are our surf guides here, so let's have fun. Yeah. yeah apparently, our ticket gives us access to a museum, wine tasting, and a tour to see how the wine is made. So let's go straight up here and see what, how our wine is made. And we'll see if we can carry each other over these steps that you can about. And starting now, I guess. So the Krutis owned this farm doing that amazing job of uh, putting crude consumption on the world map of wine. In the late 1800s, there was a pandemic that ravaged the wines almost in the entire world. So the wine industry almost collapsed because there was a, a pandemic called uh, Phylloxera. So Phylloxera killed the vines in the entire world, including the vines yet crude consumption. So the Krutis went into bankrupt because they were trying to fight the virus and in the process, they were not making any production. So they ended up at declaring crude consumption insolvent in 1885 and they were left with no option other than selling the farm. Then they auctioned crop consumption and the South African government bought crop consumption from the Clutis in 1885. When the government bought this farm, mm. the government declared crop consumption a national monument where people could just come and see that heritage farm, the first wine producing farm and where that wine was coming from. From 1885 to 1993, there was nothing much that, that was happening here. Only 1993, the Crot Consentia Trust was formed. Then it approached the government asking for permission to use the land. Then the government signed over the ownership of Crot Consentia to the Crot Consentia Trust, to the Board of Trustees. Then the Board of Trustees started uh, running Crot Consentia from 1993 to the present moment. So in other words, this land belongs to the government, but the farm is being run by a trust, which is basically a non-profit organization. So the profit that we make here at Crot Consentia is yeah. not going to an individual. The profit is uh, staying within the trust just to keep the farm running, just to maintain the estate. So no one is actually benefiting directly from taking all the profit. The beneficiaries is us, the employees, yeah. and also the uh, trust is also giving back to the community, as in like in charity and stuff like that. So that's basically the history of the farm. So we can come this side and talk about how we make wine. Mm. So in most cases, I find out uh, when people <laughs> ask me at the end of the tour, so they ask me like, so when do you actually mm -hmm. make the wine? They think this is just a demo, but they just yeah. clear that out. This is where the magic happens. Wait. On my left, this is where we ferment the red wines. Okay. Uh, then on my right, this is mainly the storage tanks. Uh, then few tanks over there, or uh, those stainless steel tanks with the big yeah. opening, those are the fermentation tanks for the whites. So in other words, we make more reds than whites. Oh. So we make like 70% reds, 30% whites. That's why we see we have only few tanks uh, for the fermentation of whites. So we start by harvesting our grapes by hands, as I mentioned earlier. We bring our grapes from the vineyards, uh, we use tractors. We bring the grapes to the uh, production cellar, which is here. Right outside this building, in, uh, behind the wall in front of us, yeah. there's a square stainless steel bin. We call it a receiving bin. So the tractor will reverse uh, or float all those bunches of grapes into the receiving bin. Then immediately, the grapes are moved to the crusher or a destemming machine where the grapes are crushed. Then the stock that stick that binds grapes, it will be vacuumed outside. Then we remain with what we call mesh, which is the skins, the juice, and the seeds. So let's say for the white wine, for the Sauvignon Blanc, those green grapes, yeah. we take our mesh, we put in this machine here, we call it a presser. So this presser uses air, so it's a pneumatic presser. 
So inside this machine, there's a balloon, a very big rubber balloon, and there's a compressor attached to this machine. When we put the grapes inside, we close the machine, we switch it on. Then the compressor will start to calm the balloon. As the balloon expands, it sort of strains, it squeezes the grapes against the bottom of the machine. Then they are like little tiny holes, like those ones that you see there, mm. at the bottom. That's where the juice comes out, leaving the skins and the seeds inside. Mm. So that's how we press the grapes to get the juice separate with the skins. Back in the day, they used to do it by fix, like stamping on grapes like this. So back in the day, uh, slavery was more like a backbone of winemaking. So they had slaves, even here at Port Constantia, who used to do that to press the grapes by fix. But nowadays we are improvising as well and we are also doing mass production that's why we use the the presses so once we press our white our, our green grapes we get our juice from the presser we put in the fermentation tank then we add mm. yeast yeast is like a living organism it feeds <coughs> on sugar the yeast will start to eat the sugar that is in the juice converting that sugar to alcohol that's fermentation Fermentation takes plus or minus two weeks, like 14 days. In 14 days, you no longer have sweet grape juice. You have your wine already. If oh. you can drink the wine at, that, uh, at the end of 14 days, you can actually, it can actually do the job. Trust me, you can walk with the side. <laughs> but one thing for sure, you won't enjoy that wine. What's that wine lacks structure? It's flat. So what we do, we leave that wine in the tank to mature on the lease mm. so that when the when the yeast is done fermenting the wine it dies it becomes a creamy segment that sits at the bottom of the tank so we leave the wine to sit on that segment that segment will give back to the wine giving your wine like a structure after five six months of maturing on the lease we take our white wine from the stainless steel tank we put in those white tanks in the corner there those white tanks are basically uh, purification tanks or stabilization tanks. That's where we add some purification agents it's like a bendonite. It's a fine powder that we add into the wine that purifies the wine. It sort of filters the wine out. Once the wine is filtered out, then we pump it out. It goes through electric filter. Then it comes to the storage tanks after that. So the white wine is ready from there. Then it goes for bottling from the storage tanks. So it's very uh, easy to make a white wine, I should say, and it doesn't also take much time to make white wine. Whereas the red, it's slightly different from the white. So now we're gonna talk about how we make the red. The red is being made from the black grapes. So the black grapes <coughs> are crushing there. We don't press like what we do for the whites. We take the skins, the juice, and the seeds. We only remove the stalks. We take the skins, the juice, the seeds into the fermentation tank, right away so we put everything we add yeast it starts to ferment as it ferments on the skins of the grapes there is what we call phenolics which yeah. is uh the anthocyanin which is the color pigment and the tannins so as it ferments the color is dissolving from the skin into the wine so in other ways what i'm trying to say the red wine gets the color from the skins uh -huh. so when we ferment the red wine together with the skins, the fermentation produces gas and the gas will push the skins to float on top of the tank. So if we leave it for two weeks to ferment on its own without attending to it, our wine won't get the color because it separates the skins on top, the juice at the bottom. Uh. So the reason why you see there's a walkway here, someone will come on top, there's a ladder in the middle there, someone will come on top, we connect a high pressure pump at the bottom, we suck the juice out, someone is sitting on top holding the pipe pumping the juice back in again, a way of sort of mixing the, uh, the juice and the skins. And we do that four times every day for two weeks of the fermentation period, pump oh. over, to make sure that the skins and the juice, they are mixed. What After two... What color would it be if you didn't uh, if we, skin? If we don't do that... What color would it be? Uh, it will be pink. It will be pink. It, it will still taste the same. Uh, it won't taste the same. What's the tannins? The tannins are not even there. So it will be like a rosé. So it will be more like a rosé. So we, we make sure that there's maximum conduct of the skins and the juice so that there's maximum extraction of the color in the tannins as well into the wine. After two weeks of regular pump overs in fermentation, uh, you have your wine. Uh, it does have that rich, that deep color as well. That's when you press it with that press over there. You can actually see it's tailed. Uh, Those are the press of the red wine, that small one. When the red wine is pressed, at that point, if I have to give you a glass of red wine, it's either 
you will get the rest wine for the rest of your life, or you will get me. <laughs> well, that's when it's very bitter. Was those skins, those uh, seeds that were in the fermentation process together with the juice adds a lot of acids to the wine, which we call malic acids. And that malic acid is very bitter. It can even uh, damage your, your your teeth or your gums because Ooh. it's very bitter. So what we do after the red wine has been pressed, we take it into the barrels. Once the red wine is in the barrels, it now goes through the process called malolactic conversion. We are now converting the malic acid that is bitter to lactic acid that is soft and small. So that's why it's so uh, very much uh, essential to mature the red wine in barrels, is to convert that bitter acid to the softer acid. And also the barrel is toasted inside. So it's sort of bent inside. That smoke that is inside sort of gives flavors and aromas to the wine. So when you smell your red wine, you pick like coffee, <coughs> chocolate, cinnamon, tobacco, all those flavors, they do come from the barrel. Mm. So we do mature our red wine for an average of 14 months. Those 14 months, when it's going through that malolactic conversion, and it's also getting the flavors and the aromas from the barrel. After 14 months in the barrel for maturation, we take our red wine into those white tanks to filter it now, to clean it. After it's filtered, now it comes to storage, waiting to be bottled. It's no longer bitter. That's why you see now, if I give you a glass of red wine, we tend to be friends at the end of the day. <laughs> if I to give you the wine at this point, you are not going to like me at the end of the day. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fana fana you wow. Okay. Oh, we can buy one. We buy one. Uh so the chocolate and wine are the ones that are pre selected for you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Ask them to do some tasting, guys. Uh, oh. Relaxing time. Picture tab because somebody likes picture. And. Yeah. Guys, you choose your, your own wine. You can enjoy this rosé with your with your salads, with your sushi, yeah. with your chicken. And this is your governor's reserve, sir. Yes, I see. Ooh. This, this is our flagship white wine. It's a blend of two, uh, two different grapes, Semillon Blanc and Semillon. Oh, and okay. also wooded. So we matured it in the garden for 10 months. 10 months, guys. It's a wooded white wine. Okay. You, you can enjoy this red wine. Deep. The color is deep. It's rich in color. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna do the governor's reserve for you, sir. Yeah, we This is our flagship. This is our premium red. It's actually a blend. It's a blend of mm. four different grapes in here: Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Verdot. guys you 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 we just finished our wine tasting now and it's time to see if we can catch a bus and get to house bay the bus is in front of us i don't know if we can get it or not but uh we can try and rush it and get to it hey, we're just seeing it now yeah anyway we're done with that wine tasting time to continue our trip guys to house bay and kens bay since it's hot today so let's do it today every day yeah Guys, the bus is there. <laughs> Hope we didn't miss it. Yeah. Look at people rushing. These people are rushing. Is this how is this the rush walk? Rush, walk, rush, walk, hike, hike, hike. Shall is just cheating there. Yeah. Anyway, we're rushing. <laughs> yeah guys, we are living constantly guys. 
Ooh, look at the sun, guys. Ooh, look at this tree. Welcome to Hot Bay, guys. Hot Bay. Ooh. It is a bit chilly here, this way. Ah, ah. Yes. 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 Hello. 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 You want to take a picture? You can take a picture. Wee! <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Guys, uh, this is the, the Hot Bay, guys. Hot Bay. I want my house to go Hot Bay. You're going to be chilling on those places about close to the ocean. Yo, guys, look at the view behind me. We're at Hot Bay, guys. And we're going to try to get some food here and afterwards continue to Kems Bay and relax afterwards. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what's going to happen, guys. Yeah. Hey. Moritz. This is place, Moritz. Moritz. <laughs> You're here for ice cream. Okay, let's go get some food quickly. Now, yeah, guys, just finished uh, for the hot spray. We're going to camp there now. Yeah, this guy is eating. Hello. <laughs> nom 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 
Yo guys, we are at Ken's Bay and it's about time we have some uh, drinks here. As you can see, got some beers, got some juice, shots and juice. We are tired guys, I think. For today, we're, we're going to end the vlog here guys. I hope you enjoyed our day. Doing some wonderful trips. Constantia was the main part of the trip. And we went to Hulk's Bay and now we're ending up in... Kim's Bay, guys. This way, end the trip, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time when you're alive, guys. This is the machine signing out, and have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye.